Hello and welcome to my channel, Hardware AI. This is the first video of Know How series, which will feature shorter videos explaining a function or a method of doing a particular thing. You can find more explanation about this new video series in my recent post, link in the video description. Today, I'll be explaining how to set U-Boot for Raspberry Pi Ubuntu to Auto-Boot and Silent Boot. Why do you need to use Ubuntu at all instead of Raspbian? Great question, I'm glad you asked. First of all, unlike with Raspbian, there are pre-built packages available to install ROS Melodic for Ubuntu 18.04. It makes initial installation process much faster, and then, when you need to install additional packages, it greatly simplifies that too, because the packages and their dependencies can be installed with simple one-line command. The second reason to use Ubuntu on Raspberry Pi is that it has 64-bit version, which has better performance for TensorFlow Lite inference. Have a look at this repository for examples and pre-compiled binaries. Raspberry Pi is by no means an SBC for machine learning, but with all the optimization, it can get up to 12 to 14 FPS for object detection, image classification which might be acceptable for some applications. Sounds great, sign me up for that. Well, the downside here is that Ubuntu for Raspberry Pi has less community support and it can be sometimes hard to find information if you encounter problems. One of the problems is that if you have your device connected and communicating messages to Pi during boot, the Raspberry Pi will not boot. The reason for that is that Ubuntu 18.04 uses U-Boot, an open source primary bootloader used in embedded devices to package the instructions to boot the device's operating system kernel. During boot sequence, it listens to messages coming on UART, and if there are any, the normal boot process gets interrupted. Pretty much the same way you can interrupt your PC boot by pressing delete key to enter bias. While it is useful for people who want to debug their bootloader and tinker with it, most of the people are happy with normal boot process and do not want it to be interrupted by peripheral device messages. You can find multiple topics on Stack Overflow and Stack Exchange about this issue. Some people advise to get rid of U-Boot completely and boot straight to Linux kernel. This approach didn't work for me at all. The system wouldn't boot. Another approach is to connect to Pi with USB serial converter and access U-Boot console, then change environmental variables from there. Finally, you can change the config and cross-compile U-Boot binary. I'll go with this option, because it doesn't require any external hardware, which you might not have. For the first step, install the dependencies. Next, git clone the official U-Boot repository. Alternatively, you can git clone my fork of repository, where I already have the necessary changes for starting Autoboot, but if you need the latest version, then you need to git clone the official repository and make changes yourself. Then uh, change dir cd to U-Boot. Find the Raspberry Pi config files. They depend on the model. Add the following lines to the end of the file. Here, the first line removes the boot delay, so Autoboot will not be interrupted by messages sent on UART interface. Next four lines enable silent boot, so U-Boot will not send any messages on UART itself, because the messages might in turn confuse your device. One more little thing left, set silent boot environmental variable. Change include configs rpi.h file. Great, now configure with make rpi3 dev config 
and finally build with with this command when the build process finishes there will be a file called uboot.bin you'll need to rename it to a corresponding name in this case uboot underscore rpi underscore 3 dot bin and then copy it to sd card uh, with your ubuntu 1804 for raspberry pi already flashed let's paste it and replace the file in destination all right let's eject the sd card voila now your raspberry pi will not be disturbed by any messages on uart during boot the uart functionality after boot will not be affected remember you still need to set up UART on Ubuntu to use it. That can be done in three simple steps. Add, add enable UART equals one to boot config txt. Remove this line from boot firmware command line dot text and disable the serial console with the following command. Best of luck and have fun building robots. Until the next time.